Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Hey, follow all these blue arrows, it'll get you there. In lesson four, the purpose of this video is to compute the area of a rectangle using x86 64-bit assembly language. I'm using mycompiler.io that uses the Linux backend. Now let's begin line 10. This is where we declare and initialize variables that our program will use. In this case, we have two variables, length and width. The DD stands for double word, indicating these variables are 32-bit. On line 14, section dot text, global start, this is where the program begins execution, right here on line 17. Let us look at lines 19 and 20. Here, we need to retrieve the values stored at memory locations of length and width, and then we're going to be loading them into the registers RDI and RSI using the MOV instruction. Let's now look at line 24, call compute area. Now compute area, the subroutine is defined on line 33. We will have two inputs to this subroutine, the RDI register, which has the length, and the RSI, which has the width. And our output will be in the RBX register, which will contain the value of the area. Now let's begin on line 36, XOR RBX comma RBX. This is just a common way to initialize a register. Notice that we're initializing it to zero. On line 37, move RBX comma RDI, the move instruction copies the value from RDI, the register that holds a length, into the RBX register. On line 38, I, MUL, the integer multiply instruction, will multiply the RBX and the RSI registers. Remember, initially, the RBX register has the length. So notice here that we're saying RBX times width. Now that, once again, will be stored back in RBX. And when we hit the return instruction, it will come up to the next instruction after compute area, which will be on line 27. Notice on line 27, 28, 29, notice that we're just setting up sys exit. I move 60 to RAX, and then I'm going to move RBX. Remember, we computed that down here in our subroutine. I'm going to move that into RDI. Now, RDI is nothing more than the exit code of this method, exit. Then I'm going to do syscall, and program is all done. Let's run this a few times to see the output. Notice when length is 5, width is 10, our area is 50. If I was to change this to 7 and 12 and run that, you can see we get 84. And there you have it, team. Compute the area of a rectangle. 